God love with Pat's two cents. One other thing I want to mention about being delivered from addictions. Addictions are correlated with, you know, demonic attachments. They're like spiritual attachments. I was addicted to cigarettes. I was also addicted to chocolate. Now, I can eat chocolate or not eat chocolate. Why? Because when I realized I couldn't go through a day without having chocolate in my mouth, I treated it as a demonic attachment. And when I rebuked the addiction to chocolate, a few tears came and I was done. No more. Now, when I rebuked the desire for cigarettes in the name of Jesus, I had a physical manifestation where something jumped off me. Now, when that left me, afterwards, there were no more withdrawals. No nervousness. No, oh, got to have a cigarette. Oh, got to have a cigarette. None of that. Free. Free. And then one day, about two weeks later, I was at the store and just happened to look up at a billboard, which had my favorite brand. And when I looked up, hmm, if I could kick that one, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. By the time I made three or four steps, desire was gone. He came back to try again. But that was two weeks later. And never did again. So I want to let you know whatever you're addicted to, whether it's wine, whether it's hard liquor, whether it's addictions. I knew a man that said when he was hooked on, a, I think it was a $200 a day heroin, ha um, heroin ha habit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And he was standing, was leaning up against the wall watching the drug dealer come down the street. And he kept saying in his mind, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. And he said, God spoke to him and said, walk away. And because he chose to just walk the other way and not walk toward the drug dealer with his money in his pocket to get his next fix, he walked the other way. And as he walked the other way, the desire left. And he never went through withdrawal. I am telling you, God, see all the pain, all the agony that we have to go through trying to fight it on our own. When people go to the clinic and they're shaking and sweating and going through all this crap. When God delivers you, baby, it's instant. Now for some, their mind, because their mind, that's half the battle is your mind being made up. If your mind, listen to this, <clears throat> if your mind, think about it, is not truly made up that you're going to do this thing all the way or not at all, or you're tired, you don't want to do this anymore, you're sick and tired of this thing having control over you, then what you will do is have a more uh, instant victory. The ones that keep going back and forth and back and forth, the problem there is a mind that is not a made-up mind. It's like Lot's wife. I remember one of my pastors years ago, his name is Pastor Cushman. He would stand there <clears throat> and let's say sin is here and righteousness is here. And when the Bible says repent, it means here you are facing sin. You must do an about face. And you're facing righteousness. But if you go from sin. This is the mind that's not made up. And you face forward. You turn away from it. But you don't turn all the way to righteousness. You're stuck here. Now you're caught between two opinions. Two opinions tugging at you, tug of war, y yes, no, 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 yes, no, you don't know which way to go, and you get tired, it wears you down, 
And what do you do? It's much easier to go back to the thing that's pulling the hardest, which is your old self, the one you've lived with all your life. This is new. This is old. This is familiar territory. Um, this is my this is me add my spin on what he said. This is familiar territory. You're comfortable with this. This takes effort. And there's fear involved with effort because there's the unknown. Is God going to do this? Am I going to suffer? So you stick with what you know. Because you never did turn your back on it. You just turned away a little bit. Right back where you started from. Dag nabbit. How did I do that? Your mind has to be made up. And if you do not have a made up mind, you've got to ask God to give you one. I am telling you, half the battle is a made up mind. And God does not force you to suffer through the resistance the same way God does not force you to suffer the same way. Now I got to go. I got an appointment.